Ok, so now let's see in action how to update a CNFT. Here we have our CNFT and let's run the TypeScript script. We are explaining this code in this video and the links are in the description. So we run this code that uses Metaplex Bubblegum program for updating and Yumi. So now it's updated and if we refresh the page, you see that the NFT has a bad mutation updated, okay? Okay, so now let's go to the code and the explanation. Okay, so welcome to this intro for updating CNFTs with Metaplex. The idea is that the collector can mint and you use the account compression with the smart contracts to create the Merkle tree and be able to mint the compressed NFT. The cost of minting, this is very important. For example, if you are minting 10,000 NFTs, with CNFTs it will only cost 3.5 sol. If you mint a normal mint that is relatively cheap, it will cost 10k NFTs times 0 0.012, 120 sol. Imagine, imagine this, 34 times cheaper creating CNFTs, okay? So it's very strategic for the long-term success and for the fair play and the fair launch of your project, okay? The Metaplex Bubblegum. Bubblegum is the Metaplex protocol program for creating and interacting with compressed NFTs, CNFTs on Solana. The idea is that, the idea is that you can scale the creation of NFTs to new orders of magnitude by rethinking the way we storage on chain, okay? Compressed NFTs and scalability. Compressed NFTs, CNFTs, allow the creation of NFTs at a massive scale by reducing the cost of on chain storage. Instead of storing all NFT on chain, CNFTs will use Merkle trees. For example, for 1 billion NFTs, the storage cost reduces exponentially. You will pay 12 million sol. And if you use CNFTs, only 500 sol. It's a lot less. This enables creators to deploy NFTs as widely as they want. Whether it's for in-game assets, digital collectibles, or even proof of engagement, without worrying about the prohibitive storage costs. It's like paying for a perma-storage database, but with real utility, capable of having real value on the blockchain. Merkle trees and data structure. Merkle trees are cryptographic structures that compress data by creating a tree. This is a tree, okay? With nodes and with leaves. Each hash is called a leaf that represents a piece of NFT data. To verify a CNFT, you will need its associated proof that is a list of hashes to confirm that the NFT belongs to a particular Merkle tree. NFT data metadata is stored on blockchain transactions that created or updated the CNFTs, not in accounts, very important, which further cuts down the storage cost. So there is a program and a smart contract that will create the Merkle tree, that is this, a root of nodes with hashes that are compressed. Interoperability. Compressed NFTs have reduced storage cost. The key operations for CNFTs are minting, transferring, updating, and even decompressing a CNFT into a regular NFT. These compressed NFTs rely on a real-time indexing via the Metaplex DAS API to ensure smooth interactions with users, avoiding the need to manually track millions of blockchain transactions. Okay, so now let's explain the code. First, the imports. We are importing the Metaplex Bubblegum program to get a set with proof and to update the metadata. Then the Solana Web3.js that is used for managing connections using key pairs, public keys, etc. We are also using Yumi that helps manage signers and key pair identities. Okay, so you can sign transactions. We are also using the FS module 
for reading the JSON Keeper file. We are also using the Metaplex protocol. Okay, so this is a helper function to it receives as parameter the address as a string and it returns a Yumi public key. Then this function initializes Yumi. The idea is that it register MPL bubblegum, that is the protocol, logging in Yumi to be enabled to interact with CNFTs such as fetching proofs and and updating metadata okay okay so now the function to update the metadata first we initialize yumi with the correct context so then we can get the asset with proof using the umi context and the asset id then the update metadata arguments that is the name of the nft of the cnft on chain and the uri all the json metadata finally we are reading the keeper and creating a keeper with Yumi for my keeper signer. Finally, we update the metadata using MPL bubblegum, passing the Yumi context, the asset with proof, the leaf owner, the current metadata, the update metadata, the authority that is the signer, the collection mint, we send the transaction and everything is done. Okay, so this is the code, links description. Okay, so thank you for seeing this video. Work hard for your NFT project. Thank you.